Quarterly results. Leslie Picker joins us now with the numbers. Leslie. Hey, Melissa. Yeah, the stock jumping on these numbers here. I see a beat on the top and bottom line. On the top line, beating by about half a billion dollars here, more than half a billion dollars. Uh, Morgan Stanley reporting $15.1 billion in revenue. That compared to estimates of $14.1 billion. Almost all of that driven by institutional securities, which came in very strong in the quarter. On the bottom line, 2.02 per share, two dollars and two cents per share, compared to estimates of a dollar sixty-six per share. Uh, that institutional securities group, investment banking, uh, came in very close to estimates, but up 16 percent year over year. That was thanks in part to strength in equity as well as underwriting revenues partially offset by lower results in advisory. Fixed income also a beat and equities were a beat as well, each of those generating $2.5 billion for fixed income and $2.8 billion for equities. Uh, global wealth management, a beat relative to consensus, coming in at $6.88 billion in revenue. Uh, I would point to net new assets of $94.9 billion. That was down from net new assets of $109.6 billion a year ago. So a, a bit of a slowdown in net new assets year over year. Uh, investment management, that was the one division where we saw uh, the revenue come in a bit light of expectations, $1.38 billion uh, versus expectations of $1.43 billion. However, Ted Pick, the CEO, saying in the release that, quote, as a result of strong net new asset growth, the firm has reached $7 trillion in client assets across wealth and investment management, he says the Morgan Stanley integrated firm model is delivering durable results. You can see there now the share is down about 2.3 percent, uh, perhaps on some of those net new assets numbers. However, we're still digging through the release and we'll let you know what we find. Melissa.